Hi, I'm Anusha. I make videos related to beauty and lifestyle. If this is something that interests you, please take a moment to click that subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload. Without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing my hair care routine and the hair care products I use in my hair care routine. Uh, actually, I posted a short about how to determine your hair porosity and how to use hair care products depending upon your hair porosity. On that video, some of you asked me about uh, the different kind of products you can use for your hair porosity and I got a couple of DMs asking about the kind of products that I use. So today I am making this video about all the hair care products I use. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with today's video. As we all know, we have different skin types. Very similarly, we also have different types of hair types. So on a very basic level, if we see by considering the porosity of the hair, we have three types of hair. Low porosity hair, medium porosity hair and high porosity hair. Um, you can think it in this way. If you have low porosity hair, that means the pores between uh, your hair cuticles in the hair shaft are very less. Um, no, let me put it in another way. Uh, so if you have low porosity hair, your hair shaft, if you take one strand of your hair, the outermost layer of that hair strand is made up of a lot of hair cuticles. So the hair cuticles are very close to each other. They will not allow external moisture or external hydration to enter into the hair very easily. So this hair cannot absorb a lot of moisture from external products that is with the low porosity hair when coming to the medium porosity hair the the hair cuticles on the hair shaft are not very close not very far they are evenly placed on the hair shaft so if we apply an external product it is very easy for medium porosity hair to absorb that moisture and hold that moisture in place so this is with medium porosity hair and when coming to high porosity hair by this time you might have guessed that the cuticles are far away from each other so this hair absorbs a lot of moisture from outside but it cannot hold it because the cuticles cuticles are far away from each other it becomes extremely difficult for this hair to hold the moisture in place so high porosity hair often looks very dry very frizzy and uh, it is prone to a lot of breakage uh, so that is with the high porosity hair i'll cover the respective products that is to be used for medium porosity hair and high porosity hair in coming videos but i'll just uh, make like i'll just give you briefs for this hair type also but coming to my hair type my hair type is low porosity hair that means i have hair cuticles that are very close to each other and it is very difficult for me to moisturize my hair so for my type of hair that is low porosity hair we should use oils or products that are very light in weight so that the hair can absorb them better so now coming to the products that we and other characteristics of low porosity hair are this hair type is easily prone to build up of external products so it is essential to remove the build up with a clarifying shampoo and uh, you can use heat towels or heat treatments to make the products absorb better into the hair um, so these are like the uh, steps you can take to improve the moisture levels in your hair now coming to the oils you should use lightweight oils like the jojoba oil argan oil or sweet almond oil or pumpkin seed oil or avocado oil these are very good for low porosity hair types so i am using two oils from this one is the argan oil and the other one is the avocado oil i bought these two products from juicy chemistry i bought them at around 50 percent off um, so i'll leave all the details on the screen these are very lightweight oils and are extremely suitable for uh, low porosity hair they provides a lot of uh, moisturization and nourishment uh, to these hair types so i, I take about two pumps of argan oil Oil and two pumps of avocado oil and I mix it with two drops of rosemary oil rosemary essential oil is very good for um, hair growth it can stimulate the blood flow in the scalp and it can promote the hair growth so I, I just add two drops of this essential oil in this uh, oil mixture that I make um, remember one thing never use essential oils directly on your scalp uh, they are very strong and can potentially irritate your scalp so always mix one or two drops in whatever hair oil you are using so I mix argan oil avocado oil Oil and two drops of rosemary essential oil that's what i do before uh, two hours before shampoo two, 
टू आर थ्री आर्स रफली बिफोर शैम्पिंग माई हेयर सो दीज आर द हेयर ऑयल्स आई यूज एर्लियर आई यूज टू यूज वन हेयर ऑयल फ्रॉम जूसी केमिस्ट्री द वन विथ हाई बिस्कस एंड आमला एंड एवरीथिंग आई लेंस इन द पिक्चर समवेयर हेयर दैट इज ऑल्सो ए वेरी गुड हेयर ऑयल दैट दैट ऑल्सो कैप्ट माई हेयर वेरी नरिश्ड एंड लाइक वेरी हेल्दी सो आई लेंस इन द पिक्चर हेयर एंड नाउ कमिंग टू द शैम्पू एज ए ऑलरेडी मेन्शन लो परासिटी हेयर इज प्रोन टू बिल्डअप सो once in four washes i use a clarifying shampoo and the remaining three times i use normal regular mild uh, kind of shampoo uh, for my regular use currently i am using the minimalist malik bond repair complex and i like this shampoo it is good for uh, regular use it is not a clarifying shampoo but it cleanses my hair very well and it makes it very soft and uh, shiny so i like this shampoo and for clarifying shampoo i use the shampoo from anomaly anomaly clarifying shampoo um Uh, currently it is working fine for my hair but i am looking for other good clarifying shampoo options if you know any good clarifying shampoo please let me know in the comment section even i am looking for another good clarifying shampoo options so those are the two shampoos uh, that i am currently using and when coming to conditioners the conditioner from herbal essence the argan oil conditioner the blue color one that works really really well for my hair it makes my hair very soft and it keeps it tame it down but it will add a lot of bounce to my hair so i like that conditioner very much i emptied that bottle currently i am using the olaplex one the olaplex one is also very nice it adds a lot of strength to my hair but it is but it will not make my hair soft and frizz free as the herbal essence one but the olaplex one adds a lot of strength uh, for making my hair soft i am using other serums so i am happy with the olaplex one for the kind of strength it adds to my hair strands so that's with the conditioner and uh, coming to the uh, serums that i use i use two serums on my hair one is for hair growth and uh, one is for anti dandruff the hair growth serum that i am using is from the ordinary it is their uh, multi peptide serum for hair density it has a lot of antioxidants peptides and a couple of oils i guess i didn't remember properly i'll mention them on the screen i use this serum three times a week and uh, after like 3 to 4 months i'll do like a proper detailed review of this uh, hair serum but as of now for hair growth i am using the serum three times in a week and for uh, dandruff issues i am using the serum from deconstruct i started using this recently uh, i use it twice a week and um, i must say it is a good anti dandruff serum but uh, i'll give you the detailed review after some time so these are the two hair serums that i use on my scalp and for my hair i use the hair serum from minimalist it is the malik bond repair complex 5% it is their pre shampoo hair mask and it is the most mess free hair mask that i have ever used it is so simple to use you just have to take a few pumps of this hair serum like one or two pumps are quite good enough and you have to apply it on the lens of your hair you have to keep it on for one hour and then you can uh, shampoo it with your regular shampoo whatever you are using and it adds a lot of strength softness and uh, it keeps the hair frizz free so i like this pre shampoo hair serum so much from uh, the minimalist so these are the hair serums uh, i am using and after shampoo on lens of my hair as leave on conditioner i am using the one from um this peptide uh, cream i'll insert the pic i forgot the name of the cream but um from long time i am using that cream and i love it so much it keeps my hair soft and shiny so i'll insert the it's a leave on conditioner i'll insert the uh, pic here so these are all the hair care products that i use if you have low porosity hair uh, better to stick to uh, hair care products that are silicone free i am not saying don't use products with silicone but if they are silicone free they are good for your hair because silicones can add up to the build up on your hair so it's better to avoid products that are silicone based and when you are using any hair mask you can wrap up a hot towel on your hair for the to allow the product to uh, uh, to allow the product to better absorb into the hair so these are the little precautions you can do and you can clarify and and you can use clarifying shampoo once in a while to remove the build up on your hair so these are the little uh, things you can uh, do to take care of the low porosity hair now coming to the medium porosity hair it is very easy to handle most of the products work for this hair type most of the styles and colors and everything suit this hair type uh, very well so you can go for medium weight oils like the avocado oil 
coconut oil you can go to those kind of oils and uh, uh, medium weight um, conditioners and medium weight masks so and you can use a clarifying shampoo like once in uh, a month or so it, it is quite good enough for uh, medium porosity hair and when coming to high porosity hair you can use heavy conditioners and uh, heavy hair mask that has a lot of butters and a lot of moisturizing heavy hair oils like the castor oil so you can go uh, for that kind of uh, hair care products that keeps the moisture in place you can go for moisturizing shampoos so basically you have to give a lot of moisture to your hair to keep the dryness away from the hair Hair. it is very similar to dry skin like if you have dry skin you have to add moisturizers that are a little heavy when compared to people with oily skin right it is very similar you have to uh, like provide a lot of moisturization to this hair type um, so yeah these are like the different hair types and different hair care products that you can use and what are the hair care products that I use for my low porosity hair. I hope you enjoy watching today's video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button. I'll meet you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye.